hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are good here thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when i upload a new video today i'm going to show you how to design a simple church flyer using correct draw before any further ado let's get started here i'm going to use a five paper size then changes to inches then grids all right now i'm going to select the rent angle draw a rent angle over here drag this area then leave it at this point it is okay then you drag this one a little bit Then now, go to your gradient fill color. Then these are the code I'm going to use. Then click here. Select the color. Then paste the color. Click OK. Now click around here. Go back to your color code, copy this color here, then select the color and paste. Repeat again, copy the color code, then select the color and paste. Then come back again to copy the color code. Select the color, Ctrl V to paste, then copy again, Ctrl C, then select the color, Ctrl V to paste, reposition it. Then the last one, copy the last color code here. Select the color, then Ctrl V to paste. Then adjust the location. I'm going to save it for further if I need it in case. All right. So this is what we have. Now change the direction angle. Then you can rotate it this way then until you get the right position you want it all right now ctrl j to duplicate it then you drag it in now Rotate the direction again to give you another result. You can see 
then okay the next thing again i'm going to duplicate this one again then you drag it in a little all right then copy this color code over here ctrl c to copy then you come here select one color then ctrl v to paste then this is the color you will have then group it okay now use your zoom in and zoom out to see the outcome of it so drag it in to learn how to design this test effect then check the link in the description then to learn how to design a 3d invert in Corel draw now copy this test here then ctrl v to paste then bring it over here Then change the font to this font here. Try Jam Pro 3. And drag it into the group. Now, I'm going to use this one which I saved earlier before. Then apply stroke, select black color, OK. So this is what you have. Then increase this font size. Then you can see what I did there. I change it to parts. Then I'm going to curve this area, the left corner over there. Then use your arrow key to position it. I'm going to copy this test here. Then select the test to bring your cursor over here. Then Ctrl V to paste. Change the color to black. Then the test is now fit to part. So this is what you have now. Then come back again to copy your test. Select your test to control V to paste. Now increase the font size. Then close the character space there then increase the font size then apply center alignment then 
then come over to copy the theme draw a red triangle here apply red color select your test tool ctrl v to paste change the color to white then you drag it over here then apply vertical and horizontal alignment drag it over here then position it over there then I'm going to copy this test here Ctrl J to duplicate this one and drag it over here Ctrl V to paste then Ctrl J to duplicate it again copy your test here Ctrl V to paste Ctrl J to duplicate then copy this test over here Ctrl V to paste Then I'm going to change the font to August Bold. Now open the character space. Then you drag it out. Then apply vertical alignment. Expand it a little bit. Then I'll position this one over here. Then position this one over here. Now Increase it. It's okay like this. Then use your arrow key to drag it up. All right. Then increase this one. Use your arrow key then to drag it down. Select the team. Hold your shift key then I rotate it. Position it over here and drag it down. Alright. So this is the outcome of it. Then you group it. Expand it a bit. Use your arrow key then to move it upward. Now I'm going to copy this test here. Then Ctrl V to paste. Before then I'm going to change the color. I mean, sorry, the font to lovely tongue.
then you copy this one select your text tool then change the font to trajan then make it bold then close the space then you drag it up here it's okay then I'm going to drag a rectangle here the two change the color to red Now duplicate the test here. Select this one to copy. Then control V to paste. So drag rectangle here. I mean a triangle. Position it over here. Duplicate it. Then you drag it over here. Ctrl V to paste. Then I'm going to reduce the size. Okay. Then use this rent angle to divide the space. Close it small. Ctrl J to duplicate. Copy or test. Ctrl V to paste. Then you duplicate it again. Then you drag this one over here. Then also duplicate this one. Then Ctrl V to paste. Disclaimer the name you see here is for tutorial purpose only. Alright, now I'm going to duplicate this rectangle over there. Then I'm going to drag it down here. Then scale it out. Okay. Then apply vertical alignment. Go to your Gaussian blur, then select motion blur.
draw a rectangle over here. Then I'm going to apply this black color. Then apply vertical alignment. Then you copy this test. Select your test tool. Ctrl V to paste. Change the color to white. Okay. Now drag it over here. Position it well. Then you copy the dates. Then expand the font size. Close the crater space. Then expand it again. Then draw a little rectangle here. Change the color to red. All right. Now copy this test here. Come over here to paste. Then duplicate this one. Highlight it. Then Ctrl C to copy. Then you paste it. Then scale this one out. Then you copy this one. Duplicate this one. Ctrl J. Then you drag it over here. Then Ctrl V to paste. Then you drag it out. Then arrange it properly. Now copy the location. Ctrl V to paste it. Change the color to black. Then change this one to red. Then I'll put a space. Then I'm going to make it bold again because, because it's not bold enough. Now I'll group it. Then control G to group. Okay. Now then control V to paste.
open the character space a little bit. Then apply vertical alignment control D to the select. Then apply it again. Use your arrow key then to move it up. Then I'm dragging this one down. All right, now bring this one in, drag it down, then change the blending mode to multiply, then reduce the opacity, apply layer mask, then you blend over here. Then bring this one again. Then you bring it down over here. Then expand it a bit. It's okay. Then the blending mode change it to multiply, reduce the opacity, then apply layer mask, then you blend the top here and the bottom over here. So that is it. Then change it to screen, position it over here. Then duplicate it, then you bring this one over here. Now, bring your church logo, you position it, drag it out a bit, sorry for my voice today, my voice is not good. That is because of the weather. So this is how we come about it for today's tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like and share. I really appreciate. So if you like this video, let me see your comment.